Hey YouTube, this is Mr. Pudding890 again. And this is the explanation video for how my wooden rubber band Gatling gun works. Um, basically, what happens is here we got the tripod or bipod, whatever. Yeah, tripod. Maybe. Um, what happens is you unroll it like this. I, you unroll it. So roll it backwards. And see how you got this leash string? You put the leash string around this one. And then when you put a rubber band on, and then you roll it back in, it pulls the rubber band off. Because, as you can see, you have little notches on the end. And then this side is pointing like this. So, and it's at this angle. Just so um, it stays on better and it comes off easier. Because if it wasn't like that, it would just slip off because it wouldn't be pointed. So, you got to make those pointed. Now, if you're pointing on making this. Um... For the handle, I did something that I thought would be cool on it, ended up being really good. But I just used a bandsaw to cut out the handle. And on the edges, I just sanded them down with an electrical sander. And it took me about 30 minutes to make the handle. It was actually really easily, um, easy. The bipod actually took a while because I kept getting the legs wrong with the bipod. But um, that wasn't too bad. Now... If I unroll this a lot, I can show you it actually spinning, but, um, so, there, the inside has a pole to guide it, it just has this, it has little notches in this little piece, and these stay on the notches, and so, and in the middle of this piece is a hole, and so this piece right here, this one right here, right behind the bipod, stays completely still, but it has this on it, so this can rotate. On the other side, it's basically the same piece as this one right here, but it's bigger. So, and it does just about the same purpose, except for, and it gets stopped by the handle right there. Now, the inside of the handle wasn't, it's not too complicated. Um, it ended up being sort of complicated, but what is, is, um, these two circles are right here and here. And in the middle of these two circles, the handle has a hole drilled in it. And on that is this handle right here. This is just the wooden dowel, and so are all these. But in here, and here's this piece right really fast. Where's the handle? There. But anyway, this right here is connected to a circle that's in here. So the circle rotates freely. So instead of like, how else would you do it? We can't really do it any other way. So the circle's in there, and it gets stopped so it can't come out. As you can see, it still moves. Like this. So that just shows it's not just like some sort of rotating thing. It go, it can move a tiny bit because we didn't make it the perfect size. Well, we, we sort of did, but it's just meant to do that so it's more smooth. And what else should I say? Oh, this string is threaded through this hole, which guides it. So, and then it goes up through around here. And it attaches to one of these just by a normal knot. And the thing is, you can do it more than once over. So once you go in a full circle with the string, you can do another circle. You just have to put more rubber bands on. So let me just clear this up. It shoots 80 rubber bands, not 50. I just messed that up in the video, I think. But 80. And that should be just about it I have to show you. All these pieces that you see, these circular pieces, are wooden dowels. I forget what size they are exactly, but it's not hard to figure out. That's a wooden dowel in there. There's one right there. So, if, and on the inside of there. They're all the same size. Um, in the width. In the width and out, of course. And, let's see. So really, this was the hardest part to build right here. This, the actual rotating part. The rest was... Not simple, but much easier than that part. Because this part had all these precise cuttings on the exact width of the dowel so you could fit it in and notch it in perfectly. And then these notches took hours. And then you have to align them perfectly so they go in a circle like that. And then this. So this but in the end, gluing it together is pretty easy. You just have to know what not to glue. Because if you, like, say, glue this on the inside, like I almost did, which was really dumb, but... If you did that, it wouldn't rotate at all. So that would be pretty dumb. And, oh, and to get the string on, you just tie a knot in the string, and then you rotate it whichever way you want the string to be. So if I unrotated this tiny 
entire thing and then instead of rotating it again, it would go the other way. But I just like rotating it clockwise when I'm shooting. Yeah, it's clockwise. So that's just about it. Just once you're done, sand it down. If you're planning on building this at all, but so yeah. So thanks for this. Um getting me all the views because it's pretty sweet having tons of views. Actually having a sort of semi viral video that I can actually make some money off of. <laughs> Not much though. But anyway, so thanks for watching. Hope you like it, comment, rate, and as always, subscribe. Thanks a ton for watching. Goodbye.